What's going on everybody? My name's John. I'm Isaac. I'm Jackie. And uh, some of you OG subscribers will remember Jackie from when we did the mini bike engine swap uh, a few months ago. And she is back in this video where we are working on our rat rod wagon. This is going to be part five. We're not exactly sure what we're going to do today, but uh, some of the things on the list to do are brakes, jack shaft, sprocket, engine mounting, engine plate. So we're gonna try to do one at least one of those things so while we were off camera we went to agri supply which is a farm supply store specific to the southeast united states and we bought a bunch of uh, sprockets and all kinds of parts that we can hopefully use on the wagon ike also went to tractor supply and bought a chain brake for us so we no longer have to use the grinder when um breaking chain or cutting chain we also got some more of those collars for us that uh, we may weld on to the uh, axle, maybe. I don't know. Pretty sure. So between all of that stuff, hopefully we can have something to use for uh, the wagon today. Just push them. No, no, it'll be fine. With me standing on it? Yeah. Are you kidding? You'll be surfing. Look at that. I know, right? <laughs> so Jackie, how are we going to fix the wagon's plowing problem? Hmm. What is plowing? <laughs> Let me show you. Here's plowing. Put the motor on the front then. We are gonna put good the thinking. Very good. We yeah. Are gonna put the motor on. <laughs> that was the plan. So we're just hoping that's going to be enough weight. I've got a nice piece of uh, steel. Yeah. That I was going to put on the front. It's actually pretty heavy. Okay. Uh, it's probably a quarter inch. That's what thick I'm talking about. Steel. With that on the front and the motor engine, excuse me, um, it ought to be able to do something. We're, we're probably going to ha always have issues on the concrete turning, but in the grass, I don't think it'll be any problem. I guess the first thing we need to do, need to do is go get a plate. That's right, to mount our engine on. Yep. And we don't have a designated engine for this yet. So for now, we're just going to steal the engine off of Taylor's uh, now $200 go-kart, which is pretty broken, as you can see. All right, what you got? Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, dude, that's almost perfect. What you doing there, man? Just figuring out the jack shaft. I guess we need to get the Predator off of Taylor's engine. Yes, off of Taylor's go-kart. Off of Taylor's go-kart, duh. Yeah. I just took the throttle cable off of Taylor's Predator and Jackie is working on one of the rear engine mounting uh, bolts. And I am trying to find the chain link so I can take the chain off. This is the last bolt and then this engine should just lift right off because we already took the other mounting bolts off and the uh, clutch and chain off and the throttle cable. So this is the last one. Jackie, do you want to do the honors? Sure. Lift the engine up. Just don't drop it like I did. Where on the ground? Over next to the front of the car, or the, the wagon. Thank you. Awesome. We're going to see what the Predator looks like on here. Off with the old was on backwards because I was just looking at something. Oh, that's right. In with the not so old. That is significantly larger. That's what she said. Wow. How do you think it looks, man? Me? Yeah. With the old engine on there. The new engine? Yeah. It looks all right. It looks like a big block in a Vega or something. Haha. -ha. Man, that thing's massive. It is. Just imagine the 420 on it. All right, so now what we're gonna do, since we got everything mocked up and figured up in our head and eyeballed, should I just put a smudge on my eye? It'll be fine. <laughs> Anyhow, so now all we're gonna do is we're gonna take everything loose. We gotta take this plate, which I can't believe how good it fits. That was picked up on my front porch. Been sitting there for years, literally, literally years, like it was made for this project. So we're gonna take it off. And we're going to hit it with the grinder, clean up all the rust. And we're going to clean up on the frame where we're going to weld this plate on. And we're going to weld the plate on. And then we're going to 
drill holes for the engine and we're going to weld the uh, jack shaft jack shaft and we're going to weld the sprockets on the jack shaft and we can actually ride this thing Ooh, doggy <laughs> we didn't think it would happen today but oh, it might we probably won't have brakes today well no we're definitely not oh, going to have brakes right. today but we're going to ride it anyway because we're pretty anxious to i am going to weld this collar on this hub that we made which is going to make a nice deep hub <laughs> it's going to fit on the shaft it's going to be uh more sturdy with both of these welded up ike is going to spot weld it and then jackie is going to go back in and finish it up she's never you've never welded before never ever welded before are you enjoying welding it's all right why just all right i'm not very good at it jackie just welded up this second collar onto our hub we're using two small sprockets to keep the chain and gear away from the passengers. And we're gonna have the big sprocket on the front on a jack shaft, and it, it'll just make things uh, more comfortable for everybody. Not my best welds, but... They look pretty good. It'll be fine. I just ground down the corners of our mounting plate and the edges of our frame so we can weld the two together to uh, have our plate sitting on top right here so we can then mount the engine. Now what I'm doing is I'm welding this plate to the frame for the engine and, and jack shaft. Ike and I just welded up the plate. All right, who's gonna give it the uh, strength test? Strength test? What, like burn my shoe? Cool. So we eyeballed the positioning for the engine, so I'm now gonna spray paint into these holes so we know where to drill through the plate so we can uh, put some bolts through there to really fasten our engine down. Ike is about to weld the small sprocket to the big sprocket, um, and of course we never measure anything, so eyeballing this is kind of uh, eyeballsy, if you will. Jackie has to leave, but she will ride the wagon when it is completed. There she goes. We are going to try this whole steering thing again because now we have the engine sitting on it, the jack shaft on, and the engine plate on. So, it does want to turn. It wants to turn. Yeah, it wants to turn. Yeah. So, while it looks like we are very, very close, um, we have a few things we need to get and do before we can really ride it. And we're just going to save those things for tomorrow. But we do expect to be riding it tomorrow without brakes. But we expect to be riding it. Today is Tuesday, one day after we started this uh, episode, I guess. Ike grabbed a bunch of nuts and bolts and a tap and die set so we can tap this here mounting plate. So we have to find some bolts that are going to be long enough to fit through there, but short enough to where it won't interfere with the uh, block. We also need to grab a couple of bolts for our jack shaft. We are re-spray painting our drilling holes on the engine because we weren't happy with the other ones. So we're going with our nice green that we used on Taylor's wheels. We're still not happy with our spray paint marks, but it'll be fun. That's right. This is for putting threads in a metal or plastic uh, piece that you're working with uh, to put screws in. So you can thread a bolt in. So you can thread a bolt in. The correct way to do this is to start it straight and start turning it. You go back a little bit and you turn it. You go back a little bit and you turn it. You go back a 
back a little bit. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Should be fine. Yes. This is our first attempt at bolting the engine down. Um, we're hoping it'll be fine. If all four of our bolts actually fit, we're both kind of surprised. So we're tightening them down just to see how the engine feels, I guess. And then we're taking it off so we can do the same thing uh, well, we for gotta, the jack shaft. We gotta put the jack shaft on with the engine in place. Oh, that's right. Okay. We gotta put the jack shaft on with the engine in Look. place. Yep. She's up there. She up there, all right. Don't know exactly how well it's gonna work, but we'll find out. That's right. It'll be fine. That's right. We'd like to ride this thing tonight. So, uh, we're gonna be putting this jack shaft on and running our chains. The chains may be a little bit sloppy, um, but but that'll be fine because uh, we're gonna run some, uh, I guess some roller skate wheels from for some uh, chain adjusters. So right now we're doing our little trick again with the spray paint on the... Uh, on the jack shaft. On the jack shaft holes. Now that we have our holes spray painted so we know where to drill, we have to take the engine back off so we can actually get in there with a the drill. We drilled two through the frame and uh, one through the mounting plate. And as you can see here, we actually tapped the one in the mounting plate too. We're going to stack some washers on here to elevate the jack shaft so our sprocket doesn't hit the ground everywhere we ride. Before you give us a hard time, remember that this is a rat rod. I just tightened down the three engine bolts we have. Ike is uh, seeing how our chain is going to fit. We are minutes away from riding this thing, aren't we? Yep. I just uh, made this chain, which is pretty loose, but uh, it'll be tight enough for tonight. That's right. Just like on the mini bike video. It rolls. Yeah. Kind of. It's extremely sloppy. What we really need to do is tack weld our little sprockets onto the axle. But what we're going to do for right now, just to get it running, is tighten down on the little Allen, Allen bolts. After that, we're going to fire it up and we're going to take it for a ride, hopefully. We don't have a throttle cable, we don't have brakes. Our chains are very sloppy and kind of hitting each other. Um, so, yeah, basically we have nothing to worry about. <laughs> It'll be fine. Yeah, this is, this is like the moment of truth. <laughs> oh, just a sign. It works. <laughs> it turns too. Wow. The chain on there is doing like this. <laughs> it's not good. We need some tighten that up. Yeah, we need some tensioners for it. <laughs> what do you think? Still got some bugs to work out of it, but oh, it yeah. works. A lot of bugs. Looks like the chain is doing like oh, man, that. Yeah. Well, I think we need to do a burnout. Do a burnout? Maybe. Yeah. I'm I'm good for a burnout. Yeah. 
sad burnout. Oh, I, I see what happened. Smoke. The gear moved yep. over. So what do you think, John? Uh, well, it runs and it steers. So uh, steering was our number one <laughs> yeah. kind of concern, but now we have quite a few more concerns that have just kind of popped up. Just little touch-up stuff, little fine-tuning. We'll get to it when we uh, take everything apart, uh, clean the frame, uh, not take the rust off of it, but just take some of the loose stuff off and clear coat it, clear coat the tub, uh, little fine tuning stuff. I got to ride around the rat rod wagon. That's right, I did too. And uh, it's like, uh, it's like, it almost feels like you're already in the hospital bed. It's that scary. It looks that scary too. Man, I didn't feel scared at all riding it. You didn't? Once we get the chain worked out, get the slap out of it, I will take this full speed. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So this has been part five for the rat rod wagon. We got the engine mounted, we got the jack shaft mounted, and then we got it running. So uh, in the next part, we're gonna be taking everything apart, kind of cleaning it up, clear coating, getting our uh, grease fittings in the front wheels, yep. um, tightening the chain with some tensioners, and kind of figuring out the, the little details, the fine details that we've kind of been. Accelerator. In. Oh, an accelerator. Brake. Brakes are also important. Yeah, just, we're gonna be covering all the fine details that we've been saying it'll be fine to so far. We got this. We got this. It's running. It's running. It's driving. It's awesome. It is awesome. It <laughs> is, I love it. Yeah. Can't um, wait to uh, do a drag race between Taylor's go-kart and the rat rod wagon. That would be a good race, wouldn't it? Thanks for watching. Uh, keep up with the build and other things on Facebook and Instagram at Cars and Cameras Reviews. Um, yeah, going to be doing more Miata stuff, more Rat Rod Wagon stuff, and more Taylor's Go-Kart stuff. Uh, maybe even more stuff with my Go-Kart, maybe some tandem drifting. We have to do another drag race. There are a lot of things we have to do. We're going to do another drag race. we got to finish this up, though. We do. We are going to finish this up. That's right. So, thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you, 58,000? 59,000. Subscribers? Yeah. We love you. We love you. Thank you. That's right. All right. High five.